Arg, matey. <laughs> it's in my face. I feel like I'm, I'm missing one eye. It's like Santa Pirate. Ho, ho, ho. Where's me slumber? <laughs> Back rats. I got some questions to answer. Let's do it. That's what I expected. some questions to answer. I was issued a challenge by my friend Tom over at Retro Obsessed. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, please go do so. I was actually asked 15. That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't have 15 fingers on my hand. Mm-hmm. 15 questions that's supposed to dive into my aura, my, the ether that is Pac-Man case. Uh, and I'm supposed to let you guys know what I think, feel, suggest an answer of these questions. So thanks for joining me on Pac-Man Case's Christmas Question Special. I just made that up on the spot. I don't know why we're wasting more time. Let's jingle bells right through this. All right, numero uno, favorite scent or candle? First I wanna say vanilla, but then I'm like, but I like cinnamon, but I don't like peppermint. Like, get mint out of my face. I can't handle the mints, but cinnamon. Or like a caramel. Like a caramel cinnamon. That sounds like a good answer. Question two. Favorite holiday beverage? Hmm. First, I want to go to, like, alcoholic beverage. And, like, I want to say, like, a white Russian. Like, give me the white Russian. Make it very creamy. I don't know if that's turned, what did that turn into at the end? Okay, so favorite beverage. If I was going to walk into a Christmas party and I was like, hey everybody, Pac-Man Case is here, where's the beverages at? And they're like, here sir, here's a table of beverages that you might be able to consume and enjoy. I would be like, hmm, I will go with a Coke. <laughs> Probably, literally classic Coca-Cola, Santa on the bottle, mix that up with a little cherry, a little rum, and that might be my boy. So, Roy Rogers with a uh, little dirt in it. And that's, uh, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. All right. What song gets you in holiday mood? Well, I wrote that terribly. What song gets you in the holiday mood? Hmm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and happy holiday. Not that song. I mean, I've heard that song a bunch. That's It was just stuck in my head. Probably Frosty the Snowman. <gasps> Frosty the Snowman. Da, 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 da. It's funny. It's my favorite song. I don't know the freaking words. As a kid, did a sibling receive a present that you wanted? Yeah. My sister got Gak. She got Floam. My sister got like this cool like shadow catcher. So basically what it was, if you guys remember, Nickelodeon created this cool toy where you could turn off the lights and it would flash and it would like catch your shadow on the wall. I forget what it's called. If I can find it, I'll pop it in here now. If you're still looking at my face, that means I couldn't find it. And we're back. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but it was really cool. My sister got that one. She got all the cool toys. I mean, I did get a Dr. Dreadful set, so I was able to make like creepy gummy worms and stuff. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. And I got all the Ninja Turtles. So, really, like that one year, it was like I opened up an entire thing and it was like all the Ninja Turtles and they all had a little place, like a little carrier. It was so cute and so cool. And then my dumbass took it to school. And guess what? I probably lost Baxter Stockman at that very moment. I miss my turtles. <laughs> Next question. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? Ooh, that's a hard one. I'm a Halloween guy. So, I mean, I could tell you a thousand favorite things about Halloween. Favorite thing about Christmas though, is gonna sound really vain, but getting presents. I mean, I'm just being honest. I think most people wouldn't be honest about that one. I'm gonna straight up be real with you. Getting presents is awesome. Being able to open up a surprise gift that has stuff in it that you've wanted all year is so cool. Close second, spending it with family and friends and loved ones. There you go. Next, do you have any Christmas traditions? Uh, yeah. We open presents, we eat food, spend time with family, 
and it's fantastic. If you haven't tried it, if you guys haven't tried Christmas, you need to try it. It's really fun. <laughs> it's, it's a blast. You'll love it. I promise. Try Christmas. You'll enjoy it. You'll have, you'll, you'll, it'll knock your socks off. Go get yourself a Christmas tree. Have a good time. Uh, real or fake Christmas tree? Now listen, when I was growing up, we had real trees all the time. Now, as a kid, I didn't realize the maintenance and the work that it takes to do a real tree. And when I became an adult, I realized real quick that it ain't for me. So we, uh, we done a real Christmas tree a couple times, me and my wife together before we had kids. But since, uh, we've had kids, we pretty much have done a fake Christmas tree. Uh, number one, she went to Costco of all places. She wanted this for years, for years. And so we actually budgeted for it, got ourselves a 12 foot Christmas tree. That's pre-lit. It comes in like five pieces for us to set it up. And once that sucker gets up and you guys get, I mean, I'm telling you right now, you guys want to see it. Go to Gaming Off The Grid uh, on the newest YouTuber of the month one and I do a skit and I'm in front of this Christmas tree. And this thing is 12 feet tall. It just keeps going. Like the kids can't even put the star on top of it. So, uh, but it, it's epic, it's cool, it's pre-lit because putting lights on a Christmas tree sucks. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, go fake Christmas tree, man. Save a tree, it's cool, it's already pre-lit and wham bam, thank you, Santa Claus. Are you naughty or nice? Mm. Depends on who you're asking, huh? <laughs> uh, I would hope that I was nice to everybody. Uh, probably not. I definitely yelled at a guy in a McDonald's drive-thru because he tried to hit me just because he wanted his chicken nuggets. And I was like, you're impatient. And I almost beat up an old man. So uh, if I get some coal in my stocking for that one, there you go. But I'm just saying, like, come on, dude. Everybody's waiting for chicken nuggets. I mean, I was justified. <laughs> Ah, uh, nice. I'm saying nice. Come on, I'm nice. Maybe a, little, maybe a little naughty. Do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute? Uh, it depends on the year. Every year I'm like, I am going to be proactive. I'm gonna go get some gifts. I'm gonna make sure everybody's taken care of. And then all of a sudden, December 23rd hits and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so I'm running out. I'm going to stores you would never go to like Rite Aid or Bartel Drugs or uh, Walgreens looking for the worst of the worst on the shelves just to pop in there. We're like, oh, you know, grandma would like a little ceramic angel that's been sitting here and is now 50% off. Uh, yeah, I find myself procrastinating on that sometimes but this year I did really good I got all of my Christmas shopping done uh, if I can get some Black Friday deals I will but I worked retail for a really long time and I absolutely hated Black Friday so if you guys have never been on the opposite end of this retail workers that have to work Black Friday they don't have a life they don't get to see their family members they have to prepare for it all season leading up to the holidays all the way through Christmas they have to work long shifts uh, everybody's an a-hole to them so so anytime I can like not go and like give retail workers a little bit of breathing room, I'll do that. So from the previous question, I'm totally nice and that's what's going on. I start my Christmas shopping when I start it, but most of the time I'm like right in the middle of that question. I mean, probably, no, I, I, I definitely procrastinate. Name all Santa's reindeer. You know Dasher and Dancer and Donner and Blitzen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. I think I said two Donners. But do you know the most famous reindeer of all? How do you not know the most famous reindeer of all? Like, think about that. My wife brings this up all the time. She's like, okay, that song doesn't make any sense. Like, if you're going to know all of the reindeer and the most famous one, he's asking if you know that one. Come on, man. Rudolph. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He had a very shiny nose. You would even say it glows. <laughs> it seems like I'm getting really serious about this, but I'm not. I think I missed one and I don't know which one it was. Please give me grace this holiday season. When does family put up Christmas tree who decorates? What? Oh, that's two questions. <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting. 
This is 100% on my wife. Like I said, I'm the Halloween guy, she's the Christmas gal. She is waiting for Christmas all year long and uh, she's really awesome. So after Thanksgiving, normally people just like rush to like throw that stuff up. She's like, I'm gonna give you a little breather, but then we're going full force. So December 1st, she's got all of that Christmas stuff up and then the trade off is that we leave it in January for a little bit. I think most people do because they're lazy, but we intentionally wanna leave stuff up so that we can enjoy the lights and the Christmas festivals and all of the fun stuff that comes along with it. Uh, she decorates, she loves to decorate. Uh, since the Christmas tree is already pre-lit, she only has to put ornaments and bulbs and tassel and, and all of that stuff on that Christmas tree. Um, but now that my daughter wants to help her out, which is super cute, uh, we've got all of our ornaments in like a two foot by two foot section right at the bottom of the Christmas tree and it looks perfect. It looks perfect. That's it though. She does it and we do it uh, December 1st, baby. Peek at gifts or surprise. I kind of hinted at this already, but I definitely love to be surprised. When I end up stumbling upon a gift, either in like a hidden closet or the back of a trunk when I shouldn't have gone in there, I'm really disappointed. Like I'm like, oh man, like what an awesome thoughtful gift and I just ruined it. And I'm terrible at acting and lying. And so at the same time, they'd be like, did you know I was gonna get you that? I'd be like, no, no. <laughs> I just ruin it. Uh, and, and so it does suck. If I could be surprised every time, I absolutely wanna be surprised. There you go. All right guys, getting down to the Christmas tail end here. Number 13, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Nope. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind if people come and sing with me, but if I go out there, I'm going to overdo it. Like, they, they'd be singing like a nice Christmas jingle, like something like, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, now get me a beer. And they would like, please go, go right now, you, we're done, go. Please, sir, you've done this at 17 houses and you have 17 beers. <laughs> I'd not, I would not be a good Christmas caroler. I'm just being honest. All right, uh, 14, where do you spend your holiday? I spend it with family, friends, and loved ones. Wherever that may be. Sometimes we're at my uh, parents' house. Sometimes we're at... Uh, her parents' house, sometimes we do it here. Uh, we started to more do it here since we've got little kids now, so it's a lot easier since we don't have to send them back and forth and the rents come this way. Um, but yeah, anytime we're just with family, that's all that matters. I know that sounds corny and kooky, but it's true. It's true, especially in 2020, man. Get together, have some fun, have a blast, enjoy Christmas the best that we can during this terrible year. All right, number 15 and the last one. What is your favorite holiday decoration? Ooh. Um, Okay, so I live in Washington and we have a thing called the Lights of Christmas, which is awesome. It's like a million frickin' lights. You go there and they have all the coolest decorations ever, but there is a specific tree that they decorate every single year and it has like these floating crystal balls that come down off of this huge like branching, I don't even know, it's like a willow tree. And so I look at it and I'm like, willow. And it makes me so happy and, and I'm so excited inside. Uh, that would probably be my favorite decoration, which I know sounds like a cop-out because everybody's like, oh, make sure you go with Frosty the Snowman or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Santa hanging off the roof with his pants down, which that one my parents had. Phenomenal. Uh, but right now that tree holds a place for me. There you go. All right, pack rats, that is my list. Uh, Retro Obsessed Tom, thank you for shooting me that challenge, man. That was a blast to do on those questions. It is now my job, uh, sorry it's so late, but to give three other people. Uh, and I'm just gonna shoot from the hip here because these are guys that have been awesome, super, super cool. I've known these guys in the YouTube world forever and I would love to hear what your guys' 15 questions are. And you have to watch the video to know what they are, so there you go. Nobody put it in the comments below, don't you cheat now. Uh, first one's gonna go to uh, War Train Wins. Jeremy over there, if you guys haven't checked his channel out, go do so. Jeremy, talk to me about your 15 ones, man. I know you got lease on life and you probably have some awesome ones on here. Uh, number two, Chill Scissors, my broski. Uh, give me what you got going on this Christmas, my friend. And last but not least, hook me up with a little bit of Steve Craig Retro Games. I want you to tell me, Steve, what in the world is your uh, your favorite 15 Christmas things off of this list. I'm gonna cheat, I'm throwing two more names out there. Iowa Retro Gamer Dad, hook me up, let me know what's going on, and Miss Croft, if you're still watching this, let me know what's going on, guys. Hit those 15 questions up, I'd love to hear it. 
I just I just gave like six names and I have like a thousand others I want to do but hopefully those people can nominate other people so I don't steal everybody jingle all the way out of this video guys if you like what I got going on you like my silly ass content hit that subscribe button for me hit the bell so you know when I make videos and catch me on the next Pac-Man case creation for it will blow your mind goodbye Merry Christmas and I love y'all peace